All right, very exciting moment. All our equipment is turning up from here in Forbes for our new workshop. So benches and hoists and all sorts of stuff, as in engine hoists, not car hoists. But still, all that gear is for us, which is awesome. So we're going to unload it all and start building some stuff. this drill press creeper blast cabinet what's in that one doesn't say oh bandsaw metal bandsaw that looks like a bench we got some goodies and that's just one pallet Fancy little trolley seat. It's got drawers and everything. <laughs> now you can reverse over him. That's all right. <laughs> Massive air compressor. Check it out. That is huge. So we've got Josh here to help us out. He's going to help us assemble some of this stuff. He's obviously well experienced in uh, putting some of this flat pack stuff together. So, mate, any tips? Uh, be patient. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, be patient. Don't get over your head and. Uh... Follow the instructions. Yeah, don't throw the instructions away. Don't no, bin them straight no, away. No, us as men, we don't uh, tend to like to follow instructions. Yeah, but. for sure. <laughs> All right, let's get this undone and we'll find some benches. I reckon that's where we'll start, workbenches. I do not know. It's in my road, so I can go there. All right, workbench. Hmm. That's 90 kilos. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So what is this block? No, no. Auto body repair kit. You ordered all this stuff, didn't you, Scotty? Oh, yeah. Is this for premature things when you hit the front of the taxi on certain objects during burnout competitions? Yeah, just thinking ahead. Instructions. Wow. Yep. All those go in there.
Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Wow. I've always wanted one of these. Glass cabinet. I hate putting dirty parts back on cars, so this is going to be awesome. Wow, we have a lot of rubbish removal to do, but the boys at Hair and Forbes have really delivered. We've got some gear, we've got some good gear. It's been like Christmas and birthday all at once. Hair and Forbes Co, Hair and Forbes Machinery House. They are the guys that have looked after us. So let's see some of the things we've got. Butte little parts washer, just a little one. Be able to clean a barrow in that. Plastic parts carts, these things are awesome when you're trying to work on a car and you don't want to swing back and forth to the toolbox all the time. Put your tools in there, carry little parts and that sort of thing, nuts and bolts, even got a drink holder. Those are awesome. And I love this bench too. This thing is just great for those nice little clean jobs you want to do, or if you want to do some planning out, draw some wi a little wiring diagrams or whatever, a proper table that you can sit at, it's got great drawers. These drawers apparently can hold 40 kilos each. That is amazing. And then of course, workbenches. Everyone needs a workbench. Three drawers on each. Plus we've got some other goodies like bearing and seal driver. A electronic level. Magnetic base and dial indicator. Definitely need one of those. I mean, we need it all, but... So yeah, we're gonna mount our whiteboard up there. We're gonna mount our little Ryobi cabinet there with our tools hanging off there. We've got our creeper there, another plastic trolley. How's this for a stool? This has got all the bells and whistles. It's got drawers, little drop-down trays on the side. Spin it around, put all your screwdrivers and stuff. Man, that is an awesome little uh, little stool. Then we've got our little teardown table. Now, we're probably going to move this because it's that's the, not the place for it. But you can pull apart gearboxes or engine blocks or anything on this table. It can take a bit of weight. It's got drawers. It's got a little drain. So you can drain into this. So great little table. It's on wheels, so it moves around the room. Another bench. Keen's putting together our engine hoist at the moment. We've got a few of these racks. These racks are awesome. 364 kilos per shelf you can do. So that's a fair whack of weight. So this is where we're going to put our oils and our fluids and all that sort of stuff. I mean, just great storage. We'll have one there. We'll probably put another one in there and one in the, uh, the fab area as well. We've jack stands, jacks. Of course, our massive blast cabinet. Got to set up that tomorrow. Good old transmission jack. We'll build that. AC, DC, TIG. <sighs> Man, that'll help us fabricate a lot of cool stuff. So we'll be able to do aluminium with that as well as stainless, whatever. Of course, massive air compressor, massive. So I've got to work out where we're going to stick the air compressor. We may stick it up on top of the toilet block, which is where the old air compressor was before. Or, you know, maybe we'll stick it down the back of where the uh, dyno cell used to be. So, got a hydraulic press there, got a couple more storage racks. Got another cabinet. Oh, I didn't show you our cabinet. Check it out. It's beautiful. It's got drawers, 
Got a couple other goodies in there. We've got air tool kit, slide hammer, body kit for those little uh, accidental repairs. So we've got another one of these cabinets to go in. Plus we've got a bunch of goodies in here. We've got pedestal fans. What else have we got? Bandsaw, pipe bender, that's a jack stand, grinder stand, argon gas, various grades for MIG and TIG, hole saw, tube notches, welding curtains. We've got a MIG there, we've got a plasma cutter there, big pedestal drill press. I mean, we've got engine stands, we've got it all. Heron Forbes Co. have really delivered and they can deliver for you because they are the guys to help deck out your workshop. So, we're going to keep going with this and you're going to see all this cool gear on future episodes of Carnage. this car before us has painted the wheel on the car and so the paint is stopping the wheel coming off the car. So we've got the slide hammer out to pull it off. Dumb bastards. 